Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Odell. This is going to be a quick video. I just want to um, update everybody on the 300 uh, sub contest. Um, give you guys a detail of um, what I'm looking for and uh, what the prize, prize is. It might be prizes. I don't know yet. Right now, I'm just uh, looking at giving away a custom figure to... Uh, you know, whoever um, whoever wins, they'll end up getting a custom figure. Speaking of custom figures, I just finished another one. This one literally took me, I think, about uh, shit, uh, three minutes to do. This is uh, Bob E. Mart. Um, <laughs> a lot of people that have been watching... Uh, uh, you know, the comments of these idiots that hate on your boy. He's like the number one that goes around talking shit. And uh, so, yeah, his channel is Bobby Mart. He doesn't load anything up. He just goes around just talking shit about me and me only. So this one is Bobby Mart fucking a corpse. This is what I call it here. And like, no shit, this is probably going to go in the detail like for real, and it's gonna be labeled uh, Bobby Mart Dickhead from uh, YouTube. Except this guy needs to be a little bit more fatter because uh, I think Bobby Mart's like an overweight piece of shit. So uh, and he calls me. He he sat there. And he called me fucking overweight. Are you fucking nuts? <laughs> anyway, damn, that did look good. That's some fucking hard work right there, boy. All right. Anyway, um, <laughs> the uh, the contest. Um, Y'all know a lot of folks. I'm not even gonna say a lot of folks. You got a small amount of people that hate on your boy. Um, and I think that it's some some folks probably from sideshow freaks that jump on YouTube that create ghost accounts, and um, you know they create these ghost accounts and they want to jump on and talk shit about me. So, all because I voice my opinion about stuff. I don't give a fuck what it is. It, if it's if it's a price on a figure, or uh, it's the you know the figure itself, or just whatever. You know, I'm gonna voice my opinion, but I'm never gonna sit there, and I'm never gonna disrespect anybody and call them out their name or call them this and that. Uh, you know, he just recently Denny Kim. I mean, I love his work. He's doing a, a Ripley figure based off of Aliens, and the price that he won, it was just crazy because you're really not getting anything for that price. And I threw something up on the thread on uh, Facebook. I got like a massive response from everybody sitting there, how they agreed with it. And I'm sure Denny saw it, and um, the price went down till the 23rd of October but the fact is the price went down that's what happens when you voice your opinions just the same fucking thing about voting you know if you sit back and and you got issues with the president but you don't fucking vote or you don't fucking vote then shut the fuck up you know but if you sit there and express your word you know your opinions on things and you actually go do something about it hey a change might sit there and happen so Anyway, uh, yeah, the uh, uh, the figure that I will give away, I was going to wait till there, it was all completed, but um, it's going to be a custom Dexter figure. Very, very accurate. Um, the weapon will be a kill knife. The syringe I can't get a hold of uh, because Robbie's not doing any more until December, so... It'll be a, a most accurate kill knife that uh, Dexter used in his TV shows. If you've never seen Dexter, wake up, grab season one, start watching it. This show is fucking amazing. Um, so yeah, I might give away two. I don't know yet. Um, but right now we're working on uh, make you know creating this one. It'll be better than the one uh, that I was working on before. Way much better than that one. So... Um, I'm hoping to have everything done by mid November, November, yeah, about mid November. 
So that's it. And the object of the uh, or the the main or the object of the contest is why you support my channel. Why do you show love for your boy? Uh, because again, um, tiny amount of haters that just give me shit almost every fucking week. Um, so it's a risk doing this contest because if you do a video showing some love for me, who knows, they might sit there and jump on giving you shit, you know? So that's the price of, uh, you know, I guess that's the price of being friends with me. I really don't give a fuck. Motherfuckers can talk shit each and all day. I still get paid on the 1st and 15th and, uh, you know, it don't stop me, you know, it don't stop me at all. Uh, hell, I get called names, motherfucker, call me a fat baboon. I mean, a fat, a fat baboon. Okay. If I'm, if I'm a fat baboon, then in person, they need to come sit there and say that to me and, and show me where you see a fat baboon, but that's regardless. Don't even worry about that. So yes, um, that's what I'm gonna do. Custom uh, Dexter figure, give that away, and um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, next video I'll do is on Friday. My Mark One comes in. Uh, yeah, I've taken a break from Hot Toys and jumped on trying to get these customs done. And, and customs uh, or kit bashing is a bitch because. You got to do research and you got like a lot of people, they, they're rushing me to get them done. And it's like, yo, if you want this shit to be perfect, then, you know, it takes, it's hard. You got to sit there and you got to research. You got to look for the right shit because you don't want to just grab something and just throw it together. And then it's just sitting there and you're like, man, I'm not happy with this at all. You know? So the thing with kit bashing is it takes a while. And a lot of the shit that you've got to get is um, overseas. And sometimes you don't want to pay. I don't want to pay the full price for it. So sometimes I find it up. Uh, some of the stuff that I need that's up for bidding. And I got to wait till the bid is over. Hopefully win it. And then wait for it to get here. So that's the reason why it's uh, taking me a while to get this shit done. But like I said, it, it's it's getting there. Some of it's getting done, and then I'll have a lot of stuff for you guys, and I can jump back onto Hot Toys and start um, grabbing the stuff that uh, that I just really wasn't focused on because Ninny D is kicking my ass in figures right now. I mean, I already got the Batman, the new Batman DX, and now I guess I'm about to pop on here, and he's got the damn Bat Pod already. So he is literally kicking my ass in figures, and it, uh, I need to catch up. So, um, yeah, speaking of, again, it, a lot of hating that goes on. I guess some dude was giving him shit for um, giving him shit about purchasing the figure, you know, dishing out more money just so that he can get it uh, fast because, you know, he's impatient. He wants the figure right then and there so the guy was giving him shit and i'm like it's not your fucking wallet it's not your money so why the fuck are you worried about what he does with his money it's just some idiots out there so i don't know i think personally when you get dislikes on your videos or you got people that talk shit about you it's because uh they're jealous that's just it hands fucking jealous they I got some dude that's calling me a fat baboon. Maybe he doesn't take his ass to the gym and he sits in front of the fucking TV jerking his shit all night. I go to the gym every motherfucking day. I'm about to go to that bitch in about 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think it's things that they're jealous about. What another guy says, my collection is shit. And he goes into detail, but he only goes into detail about like two figures because the rest is hot toys and the other thing that I had done was Kruger, you know, and who the fuck can talk shit about uh, Kruger? Who can talk shit about my Freddy? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be cocky, but um, that's a bad motherfucker right there and can't fuck with it. But they never talk shit about it. So I think it's these words or these comments that they do is because they're jealous. They are literally jealous. So, um. Uh, that bad boom. 
Man, please. Fucking bench 375. Fat baboons can't do that. But anyway, enough with that. I'm going to go here and watch my boy Ninny uh, with this bad pod and be jealous. Uh, one six scale. He said The Walking Dead didn't do anything for him. Bro, you only watched 15 minutes of season three at the very end. You can't can't do that. You got to, like I've told everybody, and this is like I think over 20 people, you've got to watch the first season, first episode. If after the first episode, if it does not want you to watch the rest, then okay, you can say it sucks. But everybody that I've sat there and said just watch the first episode – They've got hooked on it quick. So, do yourself a favor. Find some time. Find some time. Don't worry about the Giants. The, the Giants, you know, they win some. They may lose some. Take a break from them for a minute. Pop in season one of The Walking Dead. Watch the first episode. And if you don't want to watch the second episode after that, then my friend... You can live by those words and, and, and continue to press on, but the walking dead fucking rules. I mean, it broke. It shattered the ratings on uh, cable last Sunday because nobody wanted to. Nobody even wanted to watch whatever football game was on. Nobody even wanted to watch that. They were like, yo, the walking dead starts in five minutes. I think on my Facebook, I saw over maybe 30 people that were saying literally – don't bother me because The Walking Dead starts in five minutes. I'm telling you, get hooked on that shit. So anyway, y'all, if you want to enter the contest, start thinking about what you want to say. Uh, I want to see who got the balls to, to you know, jump in and, and uh, support your boy. Because like I said, if you support me, you might get some haters. But it's well worth it because I'm going to give you a Dexter figure. All right, y'all. Peace. Fat baboon. Get the fuck out of here. Ugh.